Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the rules for unemployment in Jackson, Mississippi? Unemployment benefits serve as a financial safety net for individuals who have lost their jobs through no fault of their own. In Jackson, Mississippi, these benefits are administered by the Mississippi Department of Employment Security, MDES. Understanding the eligibility criteria, application process, and obligations is crucial for those seeking assistance. To qualify for unemployment benefits in Jackson, applicants must meet several conditions. Firstly, they must have worked in Mississippi during a specific base period. The base period is typically the first four of the last five completed calendar quarters before filing a claim. This requirement ensures that the applicant has a sufficient work and earnings history. Secondly, Individuals must be unemployed through no fault of their own. This includes layoffs, reductions in force, or other similar situations where the separation from employment was not due to the individual's actions. The reason for unemployment is a significant factor in determining eligibility. Applicants are also required to be actively seeking employment. This involves making consistent efforts to find work and being ready and available to accept suitable employment offers. The MDES may require proof of job search activities as part of the eligibility criteria. Furthermore, the amount and duration of unemployment benefits are determined based on the applicant's earnings during the base period. There is a maximum benefit amount and duration set by state law, which can vary depending on economic conditions and other factors. To apply for unemployment benefits, individuals must submit an application to the MDES. This can be done online, by phone, or in person at a local office. The application process includes providing personal information, employment history, and details about the circumstances of unemployment. Once approved, beneficiaries must file weekly claims to continue receiving benefits. These claims verify that the individual is still unemployed, actively seeking work, and eligible for benefits. Failure to comply with these requirements can result in the suspension or termination of benefits. It is important for beneficiaries to report any changes in their employment status. This includes starting a new job, earning income from freelance work, or any other changes that could affect their eligibility for benefits. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.